Miguel Goodbar with Adorama Rental Company. We're here with Jamie, expert on phantom cameras at Able Cinetech, and he's going to talk to us today about the Miro. Hey, Miguel, yes, thank you. So this is the new uh, phantom camera, a uh, very small camera called the Miro M320S. Um, new camera that has just been released from Vision Research. Um, it can record up to 1500 frames a second at 1920 by 1080. Uh, it has an ISO of approximately 1100 and the, the, the really big selling point of this camera is obviously the, the size, the size and weight as you can see how, how small it is. Uh, it comes in a, a number of different uh, mounts. This one here has got a PL mount uh, or it comes in an, uh, an EOS mount that, that you see on some of the other cameras. Um, and what it does is it's got an inbuilt RAM on the camera, 12 gigs of RAM uh, is the maximum you can get, and it can record, like I said, up to 1500 frames a second on that RAM. Then this device here is called the, the Phantom Cine Flash. Now the Cine Flash plugs into the, the side of the camera just like that. And then once you've recorded the shot on the RAM, you can transfer it to this uh, Cine Flash. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the mirror in a nutshell. Then, once you've got the Cine Flash, you pull it out. And then you can put it on this, which is called the Cine Flash Dock. And then from here, it's got an eSATA port on the back of the, uh, the dock. And then you can view the raw files. Uh, on your laptop or on your PC and, and go from there. How many, uh, what's the recording time with the built-in, the, the 12 gigabytes that it has inside? So at the maximum frame rate at 1500 frames per second, the, the record time is about 4.2 seconds. And you get like a looping buffer, like a RAM, and then you can trigger it at the end of it. Um, from there, that 12 gigs can, either, can be set so you can have in and out points. Uh, you can do one of two things. You can play out from the uh, SDI output, so you can output 720 or 1080, any flavor of 720 or 1080 you can output from the SDI, uh, or you can transfer the Cine file uh, onto the, the Cine flash. So you can do it either way. Great, and what is the price point uh, for this camera? It varies depending on the on the configuration. Mm -hmm. uh, for the Miro 320, a basic configuration uh, with a 60 gig of, of Cine flash with no like accessories, you're looking at about $49,000 uh, for the full ABLE kit, which will have all the, the riser, the, the handles, the, the cheese plates, the, the PCU, um, all, all of our accessories, viewfinder and, and a monitor, you're looking at around about $60,000, give or take, yeah. Awesome. All right, Jamie, thank you very much, man, thank for you, your time. Thank you. Good to see you.